Hello everyone! So today we are going to learn how to compile games um, on a Windows machine. So the first thing to do is get uh, on our web page and what you will have to do is to go to the download section uh, and scroll down and click obtaining games. So Essentially, um, here you will have to agree to some terms and then type up an email address. I'm not going to do that because I already did that just now. And because today we are going to go through how to do this with Windows, please check this box. And then uh, you can go down and click Submit Request. Uh, and after you do that, you should be able to receive an email with the download information. Um, so now we are going to follow um, these instructions in this PDF, um, which is essentially um, telling us how we're going to run games that we just installed. But in order to do that, we actually need uh, to also install uh, the MPI, uh, which um, there is also the MPI installer in, that comes with the games folder. So we are going to go there. So you, you just need to find where your games um, is installed, which um, should be in this user's public uh, folder. So I'm just going to go uh, on into the version and click the setup. And I'm going to install it. So, of course, read it through. <laughs> and say next and install. Um, so now we have successfully installed the MPI and we can go ahead and just keep going with um, the installation. So these instructions are also very helpful uh, if you want to uh, just, if you're having problems and you want to navigate to where the folder is. And so once we have our MPI installed we are ready to, to run games. So here we are. Um, in order to use games, we are going to be using the command prompt. So I like to use this um, CMDR, but you can use any command prompt. So first we have to locate, uh, go to the location of games. And I'm going to um, find it. So here I am. Uh, it's important to be in the same folder as the game 64. And what's going to happen, um, so yes, this is essentially telling you how um, you can just use the Windows command prompt if you would like. And so first, what we are going to do is test um, the standard games um, calculations, uh, some of the standard inputs. and. Um, first, let's uh, let's get through this and use the get version names script, which is going to tell us that we are using the 2020 R2 version of games. So now we will run some of the games tests, and what we need for that is to run the run all script and. Um, indicate what version of games we're going to use and how many CPUs we are going to use. So first we are going to run just a serial calculation. So <coughs> let's run the let's, let's run the script and indicate that the version is 2020 R2 um, PGI blast. So let me make it bigger. Um, and number of CPUs, so just one for now. And so essentially what's going to happen is going to run all the exams. So now it's telling that it's running exam 01. Okay, once your calculations are done, um, it is going to say it's finished. What I also wanted to do is to run the parallel test inputs as well. So first we are going to clean the run all files. So I'm going to run the clean run all command and so we're going to press enter um, so it cleaned up all the log files all the scratch files and now i'm going to run the parallel tests and we are going to use the same script and we still need to identify the version that we are using 
PGI blast. And now um, let's use two CPUs. And now it's going to run the tests that are able to be ran in parallel. Um, similarly, you're going to see the running XAM01 up to 47. Uh, we can see that our calculations running in parallel have finished. What I'm going to do now is to try to run some other test calculations, um, how you would normally run a game's calculation. So I'm going to just ls to see what I have here. And we are still going to use um, a, a script over here. We can still use the run GMS bad script. So over here, I'm just going to copy some of the tests. So let's go ahead and get some tests from here. For example, even the parallel, uh, something simple like cc6h6.imp into my current folder. And what I'm going to do is submit the calculation, uh, run GMS my input, um, just like is described here. Um, so the input is c6h6 uh, that imp the version of games which is 2020 r2 pgi blast and number of cpus so um, let's run them on two cpus so let's see so this is running and it's running like that because i did not specify the output file but <laughs> as you can see it's running so i'm just gonna Go ahead and cancel the calculation um, and submit it one more time, but now specify the output. So let me call it um, that log. Uh, so let me call it c6h6.log. So the calculation is being done right now. And hopefully it will not take a long time. Okay, so it looks like it finished. So first, let's actually see what kind of input I decided to run. So this is just a simple energy calculation using RHF with um, a dispersion correction and 631 GD basis set. So this was the given output. You can visualize this output um, on an any visualization program um, that we, I will not cover right now, but I just want to make sure that uh, the calculation finished fine. And because I'm opening it in this terminal, it looks a bit weird, but if you open it um, like in a regular text editor, it will look much better. So I'm going to search for normally. And we can see that um, our games terminated normally and we have a final RHF energy over here. So this is just a an example of how to run these simple com calculations. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, and in the next video, I am going to cover how to compile games on Windows um, from scratch. So not by using the pre-compiled binary, but we are actually going to go through the game's compilation stages together. Um, and if you want to look for documentation or over here in the same folder, you should be able to find documentation. And you can always go to the game's website and search for the, for the manual, which is over here in the input description.